Hello everyone, welcome to FT Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on Kuru Chitra monthly compilation and I'll be discussing Kuru Chitra for the month of October. All the relevant articles that were important for the month of October will be discussed in detail. So talking about the magazine, the journal for the October focuses upon agri ownership and these topics are again very relevant for the examination and even for the essay paper. If you talk about General Studies Paper 2, it is going to be relevant there. General Studies Paper 3 and important for essay paper, right? So this is how this particular topic that we'll be discussing in this session is going to be important. And before I begin this session, those of you who are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do press a like button. So starting the session with the first article that is Aat Nirbhar Bharat through Agripreneurship, how this has helped to get India more indigenous, even more self-dependent and self reliant So talking about India, India is an agrarian economy, right? Where agriculture remains the key sector and the Indian economy accounting for this particular sector account for 18 to 20% share in the GDP, that is gross domestic product. Total contributions ki agar baat kare, this is close to 18 to 20 percent. Now, agripreneurship play a very important role in the growth and development of national economy through their entrepreneurship development, which increases the income level and employment. Not only the income level, but also it is compounded by the employment opportunities in the rural area as well as the urban area. So, this is not confined to any single area of rural, but it is also a combination of both where rural and urban area is getting the employment opportunity as well as income level hike. Now, sub-sector of agri-pinorship, this is span across various sub-sectors that include food processing is one important segment, fisheries, tissue culture, apri, seed processing, smart tech provisioning, soil testing and vermi composting, many other things are also there as a part of agri -pinorship. Now, agripreneurs may engage in the productions of diverse species of vegetables and fruit and even their post-production operations are important that include processing and marketing. So, it has a huge potential in terms of market reachability as well. Now, agripreneurship can also be even tool for women empowerment, an important point that even you can use in the essay and mains paper. Now, talking about the merits of agri the adoption of new and innovation method where the process and technique are involved in agriculture. So, if sectors ki agar baat kare, khas kar ke elite sectors mein, it ensure better output, jahan remuneration bhi high hai. Even it is, it is something considered as a harbinger of progressive change in the rural economy. Specifically, the rural economy ki baat kare, this is something is going to be the game changer and it is evident from the fact that it has actually helped in increase of the contribution and even in the hike of the income for the rural people. The demand for an entrepreneur in agriculture and the elite sector setup has grown in the recent part. But just as a rapid integration in the global supply chain mein, with government programs and policies, the associated compliance requirement is also maintaining an ecological balance. Now, which government ke important initiatives which are working on agri-pinorships we will see that because this is going to be relevant for the prelims examination as well, right? So, the first is Rastay Krishi Vikas Yojana. Ministry of Agriculture and Farm Welfare has revised the Rastay Krishi Vikas Yojana in 2017 where the Rastay Krishi Vikas Yojana remuneration approach for agriculture and elite sector regeneration is there. This is also known as Revi Raftar. The scheme aims at making the farming a uh, remunerative economy activities because if you see the contribution is pretty high on the GDP or if the remuneration is high, then some of future generations, hai, jo just generations se agriculture activity pass on, there is a lot of diversion. Ka bhi dekha ja People are moving to a cities to get a job in the formal sector. So that is the reason remuneration is very important. right? The scheme provides for financial support and nurture the incubation system by strengthening the farmer efforts, risk mitigation, focusing on development and creation of pre and post harvest infrastructure, promotion of agri and innovation. 
तो कुछ ऐसी इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स हैं जो हॉलिस्टिकली काम कर रही है फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर द अदर इज पी एम फॉर्मिलाइजेशन ऑफ माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंटरप्राइज स्कीम द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड एंड प्रोसेसिंग दैट इज द पी एम फॉर्मिलाइजेशन ऑफ माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंटरप्राइज स्कीम इट इज टोटल आउटले ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ विद फिनेंशियल सपोर्ट टेक्निकल सपोर्ट एंड बिजनेस सपोर्ट फॉर द अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंटरप्राइजेस ऐसी कोई इंडस्ट्री जो ऑलरेडी इस सेक्टर पर काम कर रही है उसको गवर्नमेंट उसके लेवल को बढ़ाने के लिए उसके प्रोडक्शन को बढ़ाने के लिए उनको फिनेंशियल और टेक्निकल सपोर्ट भी प्रोवाइड करें द स्कीम एम्स टू इन्हांस द कम्पिटिटिवनेस इन द एग्जिस्टिंग इंडिविजुअल माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस एंड इवन इन द अनऑर्गेनाइज सेगमेंट फॉर द फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एंड टू प्रमोट द फॉर्मलाइजेशन ऑफ द सेक्टर राइट वंस द गवर्नमेंट इज एडिंग अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल डेफिनेटली come and incline towards the investment in the sector which will definitely call for augment in the sector now agriculture infrastructure fund ki agar baat kare this is aif uh, i think most of you must be aware about the aif many a times i have discussed this in our daily news and editorial analysis so part of atmanirbhar bharat package an agriculture infrastructure fund was launched in 2020 it's a dedicated central government scheme for provided medium to long term credit facilities for investment in creation of post harvest management infrastructure and community farming asset ek bahut hi important point hai jo aapke prelims point of view se kafi zyada relevant hai now this entail 3% of interest subvention from the government and credit guaranteed by the credit guarantee trust fund of micro small and medium enterprises up to 2 crore rupees sometimes upsc tend to ask the value as well so make sure aapko value bhi dhyan mein honi chahiye Now the PM Employment Generation Program or Inspire, the Ministry of MSME, that is Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, has a program called Prime Minister Employment Generation Program and Inspire, which is stand for a scheme for promotion of innovation, rural industries and entrepreneurship, right? And even the Khadi Village Industries Commission schemes promote a self-employment, implementing for agriculture activities, specifically in the rural area. now gram udyog vikas yojana this is under the ministry of msme which is an artistic centric program implemented with the aim of revival of traditional inherent skill of the rural artisans where it has a special focus on agro based and food processing industries which include oil industries aromatic oils honey and bee keeping par gore and even the palm products which include vegetables the other part include vegetable processing industries pulses cereals processing industries spices and condiment processing industries right so this is how this gram udyog vikas yojana is actually helping the msme sector in the rural areas and also in the urban areas challenges for the entrepreneurs kya kya se challenges hain there are many challenges but just to highlight some important one the first important challenge that is being faced to an entrepreneur is the affordable finance and technology because they want a finance which should be there at the lowest affordable interest rate and technology upgradation so that they can have a mass productions so poor technology and equipment is a challenge information help people to explore opportunities analyzing the situation and make appropriate decision at right time प्रॉब्लम इन मार्केटिंग द एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट्स जो प्रोडक्शंस हो रही है उसकी मार्केटिंग होने की भी जरूरत है ताकि वो मार्केट में सेल आउट प्रोडक्शन हैज नो वैल्यू अनलेस इट इज सोल्ड एंड कंज्यूम्ड एंड इवन द मार्केटिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट हैज बिकम डिफिकल्ट फॉर द फार्मर फॉर सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स ना द अदर आर्टिकल दैट इज स्किल फॉर एग्री इंटरप्रिनोरशिप विल सी द डिटेल एंड डेप्थ ऑफ दिस आर्टिकल the term entrepreneur is derived from the french word called entrepreneur which means to undertake right in early 16th century frenchmen who led the military expeditions were referred as entrepreneur agar aap koi aise definition likh rahe hain ise likh rahe hain to is tarah ki introduction line aap zarur use kare entrepreneurship is a process of identifying opportunities jahan pe marketplace ke sath reachability ho arranging the resources required for pursuing this opportunities and even it call for investing the resources to exploit the opportunities in the long term gain so entrepreneurial ek sustainable business ke khayal se ki jati hai where there is always an opportunity for long term and even considering the fact that the sustainability of the business has to be maintained 
नाउ एग्री इंटरप्रीनोरशिप के कंटेक्स में अगर बात करें इट हैज़ अ एबिलिटी टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट बोथ इन द सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एज आई टोल्ड यू एग्रीकल्चर हैज़ अ सब्सटैंशियल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन आर जी डी पी राइट इट ऑल्सो हेल्प द इंटरप्रीनोरशिप इन एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर हेल्प इन इंक्लूडिंग द जॉब क्रिएशन पॉवर्टी रिडक्शन इम्प्रूव न्यूट्रिशन इम्प्रूवड हेल्थ इंक्रीज फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड इम्प्रूव इन द रूरल इकोनॉमी now agriculture entrepreneurship undertake business related to agriculture activities some entrepreneurial areas in agriculture and farming product marketing input marketing and processing of agriculture produce opportunities in agri entrepreneurship ki agar baat kare the reform in the wto policies has led the agriculture sector to expand the opportunity agriculture offers several opportunities for entrepreneurship दे आर मेनी न्यू प्रॉस्पेक्ट टू एग्री बिजनेस अगर बात करें कुछ उसमें जो सबसे खासा इस टाइम पे है ना उभर रही है दे इमर्जिंग द सेक्टर इंक्लूड पैकेजिंग द प्रोविजन ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल प्रोसेसिंग एंड एग्री फूड मैनुफैक्चरिंग एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड अदर रिलेटेड इंडस्ट्रीज द पोटेंशियल एग्री इंटरप्रीनोरशिप अपॉर्चुनिटीज असम दैट हैज बिन फॉलोज विल डिस्कस दैट वॉट आर द थिंग दैट हैज अ पोटेंशियल फॉर एग्री इंटरप्रीनोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज तो पहली है एग्री एग्रो प्रोड्यूस प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट जहाँ पे ऐसी फैसिलिटीज हैं वेर नो न्यू प्रोडक्ट आर मैनुफैक्चर इन स्टीड ओनली एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस इज प्रोसेस तो बेसिकली जो फोकस होती है वो प्रोसेसिंग पे होती है और इसके कुछ एग्जाम्पल अगर देखें दैट इज कंसिडर द मील फॉर ग्राइंडिंग ग्रेन विच इज राइस फीट एंड पल्सिस नॉ देर इज अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट यूनिट दैट इज एग्रो प्रोड्यूस मैनुफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटीज इस फैसिलिटीज में कंप्लीटली नए गुड्स बनाए जाते हैं दिस इज समथिंग फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट इज जनरेटेड एंड क्रिएटेड यूजिंग द एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट एज अ प्राइमरी रॉ मटीरियल तो ये प्रोडक्शन यूनिट है जहाँ पे रॉ मटीरियल यूज करके प्रोडक्ट बनाई जाती है और यहाँ पे उसी पर्टिकुलर सब्सटांसेस के साथ उसको प्रोसेस किया जाता है डिफरेंस राइट सो दिस इज मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड दिस इज प्रोसेसिंग और यहाँ पे कुछ ऐसे एग्जाम्पल्स की बात करें प्रोडक्ट की दैट इंक्लूड बेकरीज स्ट्रॉ बोर्ड फैक्ट्रीज एंड शुगर फैक्ट्रीज नव दस इनपुट एग्रो इनपुट मैनुफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटीज हेयर द आइटम आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इधर ऑन एग्रीकल्चर और एक्सपैंडिंग द मैनुफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्टिलाइजर प्रोडक्शन यूनिट एग्रीकल्चर टूल मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट नव दस अदर सर्विसेज विच इज नॉन एज एग्रो सर्विसेज सेंटर दिस इंक्लूड the storage and repair facilities of farm equipment implement and machinery and the last is miscellaneous areas yahan pe establishment ki jati hai apparatus food khas karke feed processing facilities ko seed processing facilities mushroom productions goat rearing organic vegetables fruit retail outlets bamboo plantation as much as possible they are trying to explore the area ना कुछ ऐसे फैक्टर्स हैं दे आर बेसिकली फॉर द इंटरप्रीनोरशिप टू टेक इनटू कंसीडरेशन सो बहुत सारे फैक्टर हैं बट कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स की अगर बात करें फॉर एन इंटरप्रीनोर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज इंटरप्रीनोर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मार्केटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ह्यूमन रिलेटेड स्ट्रैटेजी सो फॉर डिस्टिंग फैक्टर इन्फ्लुएंस इंटरप्रीनोरशिप टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट किस तरह की कल्चर है टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट कैसी है और एजुकेशन इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट now these factor have been impact on the emergence of entrepreneurs both in the positive as well as in the negative way. so it has a contribution both in the positive and in the negative way now the other article that is agri startup transforming agri entrepreneurship right although the theme of the magazine for october is agri entrepreneurship so most of the article that i'll be discussing will be related today और आपको जितने भी आर्टिकल्स हैं यू टेक अ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट विल बी रेलिवेंट फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन स्पेशली फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर थ्री टू एंड आल्सो फॉर द एस ए पेपर नाउ एग्री स्टार्टअप की अगर बात करें इट्स नॉट अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर इंडिया बट आर रिन्यूड इंटरेस्ट फॉर द यंग इंटरप्रीनोरशिप हैज बिन सीन इन द रिसेंट टाइम विच हैज गिवन अ बर्थ फॉर एग्री स्टार्टअप स्पेशली आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन तो टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन के बाद एग्री स्टार्टअप में खासा बेसिकली डोमिनेंस देखा गया द नंबर ऑफ एग्री स्टार्टअप हैज इंक्रीज इन ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ टाइम नाउ विद स्पेशल फोकस ऑन एग्री मार्केटिंग द यूज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एग्रीकल्चर बाय द गवर्नमेंट द सेक्टर हैज विटनेस अ सडन सर्च ऑफ द स्मॉल एग्री एंटरप्राइजेस नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टडी विच वॉज कंडक्टेड बाय इंडिया ब्रांड इक्विटी फाउंडेशन राइट इट फाउंड दैट द इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ग्रोथ फेज ऑफ द एग्री फिनटेक स्टार्टअप विच स्टार्टेड इन टू has received a total funding of 1.6 billion in this entities 
till 2021, which is again a good number. Now, the agri startup has basically emerged into five important categories. The first categories ki baat kare, this include market linkages and supply chain. Second is farm input. Third is precision agriculture and farm management. Fourth is farming as a services and financial services. This is how this sector is actually working. Now, bringing technology to the field by deploying technology at very affordable price, company analyze their air vapor arising from the field to know the exact level of new trend of the soil. So, technology ki upgradation se farmer ko kafi zada fayda hua and even they have come to know the nuances of uh, practices, right? And on the basis of the analysis, the farmer get to know about the fertilizer they use and what are the quantity and quality essentially required. Vertical farming ki agar baat kare, there's one part of that. Automations and robotics, livestock technology, green, modern green practices, precision farming, artificial intelligence, blockchain, and drone farming are some of the prominent technology that is transforming India's agriculture. Now, vertical farming, we'll understand in detail what is vertical farming. So, farming is a practice that growing crop in the vertical stack in the layer, and it often incorporates the controlled environment agriculture which aims to optimize the plant growth. Here basically soilness farming technique use ki jati hai like hydroponics, aquaponics and aeroponics. Again, this is something important from prelims examination perspective. India is a country of small and marginal farmer. Around 86% of the total farmer has either 5 acre of land or less land. Vertical farming ki baat kare, it's a solution for the problem as a technology facilitate the farmer to cultivate four to five times more crop on a single piece of land with the help of vertical farming and technology. Now there's robotics and drone technology. The major problems of Indian agriculture currently is a lack of awareness among the farmer using the right quantity of input at the right time. And a lack of manpower is again something evident in Indian agriculture context. So pesticides ki agar baat kare manually dalne ke to ye kafi zyada hazardous bhi hoti hai health ke liye farmers ke liye and even some accident were also reported and where some of the farmers were reported to be dead. So robotics or drone technology ke through kai sari aisi hazardous uh, fertilizers ki jo khas karke agar baat kare farm land mein wo drone technology ke through robotics ke through bhi spray ki ja sakti hai. Organic farming is an important part. Organic farming has become the flavor of the season specifically in India. Or kuch states jo hai, even if you talk about the state like Sikkim, even Goa, is tarah ke states ne kafi zyada apni uh, ke jo domination se wo organic farming ki taraf dikhai hai. Especially the government of India is focusing on stating that the organic and natural farming exponential growth, which is unraveling, and to escalate the mass scale wealth structure industries mechanism must be developed to ensure authentic quality of biofertilizers, biopesticides, vermicomposting, natural compost and geometry right so these are some of the things that is affordable rate to crores of the farmer across the country now livestock farming and technology ki baat kare, this includes some of the important sector which include dairy poultry fisheries same farming etc now the livestock sector in our country has been growing at the compounded annual growth rate of 8.15 percent from 2015 to 1920 and milk production, egg production, meat production in the country has compounded annual growth rate at 6.2%, 7.8% and 5.15% respectively from 2015 to 1920. Now moving to the other important article that is artificial intelligence in agripinology. We'll see how the AI technology is augmenting the agripinology. So the adopting of innovations and transforming smart farming practices in the country is gradually becoming a major trend and the state of our technology is helping farming to the larger extent. Smart and technological driven resources management, modernization of agri supply chain, climate risk mitigation strategy, digitalizing farm as a farm producing organization, this is FPO, emergence of startup ecosystem and government initiative is helping the digital farming and this is a step that government has taken to ensure that smart farming practices is flourishing in our country artificial intelligence as a technology is still developing a great future for agriculture 
and in recent year technology related to artificial intelligence such as machine learning robotics computer visions has been integrated into the business model with agri tech companies applications of iot that is internet of things ki agar baat kare kis tarah se agriculture mein ye help kar rahi hai so precisely talking about the sector the applications of internet of thing technology in the farming has the potential to re- revolutionize not only human being but also the entire planet not specifically in india but across the world this is being used extreme weather eroding soil drying land and the collapse of the ecosystem that all factors are now making food productions more difficult and expensive high resolution information is utilized during the soil testing in contracts to the proximity sensing which uses sensor located near target area remote sensing uses sensor located to air or on the satellite now kuch agri startups ki baat kare jo ki specifically dedicated to sectors pe kaam kar rahi hai among that the first is dihar so this is literally mean a village or you can say dihar in hindi as company that assist farmer with few more significant difficulties which include impediment implementations of ai enabled solutions that improve the supply chain to ye company khas karke ai based efficiency production model pe kaam kar rahi hai taki agriculture sector pe iski contribution aur iske fayde ko samjha ja sake it one of the few companies in india that offers complete services solutions to the agriculture sector now they are operational in the states of bihar uttar pradesh odisha and west bengal and the network comprises more than 1 million farmer from those regions now in addition to this it has a collaboration with more than 30 3000 micro entrepreneurship that provide last mile delivery aggregate services they are acting as a aggregations now c3 this is this was launched in 2017 this is a startup that provide farmers with vital data of managing and optimizing the health of their trees and this firm has created an ai system that track the health of each tree और उसके जो फाइंडिंग्स हैं फॉलिंग ट्रीज के क्या कारण है किस तरह से एक ट्री को हेल्दी रखी जा सकती है सो दे आर हैविंग अ सुपरविजन ऑफ देयर इंटायर फंक्शनिंग एंड इट आल्सो हेल्प फार्मर इन एडिंग एंड गिविंग देम द राइट अवेयरनेस अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर प्लांट इट इवैल्यूएट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ वेरियस फार्मिंग अप्रोचेस एंड प्रोवाइड एक्शनेबल डेटा एंड देयर इफेक्टिवनेस नाउ कॉर्पोरेट दिस इज अगेन एन india based agri startup and intuitive intelligent for evolving technology that provides farming solutions and future ready as a whole agriculture industries it provide agri business and decision making tool that promote consistency reliability and sustainability to ye teen cheezon pe kaam karti hai ek consistency ko maintain karne mein agriculture ki uski reliability ko badhane mein and even for ensuring a sustainability now plain is digitalizing every farm data imagining the whole ecosystem by providing capabilities for live reporting analysis interpretation and even site that span the continents now precision farming ki agar baat kare the use of technology particularly the artificial intelligence has paved way for the precision farming and precision farming has become an essential component in implementing the agriculture revolution that is about to sweep the globe the based on the advances of science genetically modified new seeds crop are resistance to pest and use less water that was introduced compared to other plants which use more water the genetically modified are using less i have discussed in today's news about the gm mustard right gm mustard ke bare aapne padha ga cotton these are something that is going to be important for the prelims as well the new revolution will heavily on the high development and analytical skill continuing development of internet capabilities such as drone distributors from the precision agricultures now organic farming is again something important if you're talking about agri entrepreneurship organic farming ek bahut hi important topic hai aapke direct mains mein questions ke liye bhi aur prelims ke liye bhi now organic farming can be defined as a cultivation method where no chemical fertilizers synthetic pesticides or synthetic compounds are used it promotes sustainable farming practices by using natural fertilizers biological pest control made from the plant and animal waste and organic matter the main aim is to damage uh, basically to undergo the damage caused by the green revolutions and restore the ecological balances 
ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग की अगर बात करें इट्स नॉट ओनली एडिक्वेटली एड्रेस द सॉइल इकोलॉजी एंड ह्यूमन हेल्थ बट ऑल्सो इट गिव इम्पिटस इन द सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर अगर सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर की बात की जाएगी तो ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इज समथिंग द फर्स्ट दैट इज इन द लाइम लाइट राइट एंड इट रिसीव अटेंशन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया कुछ प्रोग्राम्स और पॉलिसीज जो गवर्नमेंट के हैं दैट इज एक्चुअली वर्किंग इन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग एंड मेकिंग दिस सेक्टर मोर फ्लरिश आर फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग पॉलिसी इन द व्यू ऑफ दिस इन 2005 द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग पॉलिसी वाज देयर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग पॉलिसी इंटेंड टू प्रमोट टेक्निकल साउंड इकोनॉमिकल वाइबल एनवायरमेंटल नॉन डिग्रेडेबल सोशली एक्सेप्टेबल यूज ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज फॉर ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग the policy seeks to actualize the area of crop potential for the organic farming sustaining fertilizer fertility conserving bio resources strengthening the rural economy promoting additional value additions accelerating the growth of agri business and even secure for the fair standard of living of farmers and agri worker and their families so these points are very important i have highlighted also you can take the screenshot agar aap mains mein likh rahe to ye important features wahan pe zarur likhe Now, objective क्या है ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग की इट मेंटेन द सॉइल फर्टिलिटी दिस इज समथिंग एंड विच ऑल्सो इंकरेज द बायोलॉजिकल साइकिल हारनेस करती है ट्रेडिशनल और इंडिजिनस नॉलेज को ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग को लेकर के इट क्रिएट द अवेयरनेस अमॉन्ग द फार्मर डोमेस्टिक मार्केट में जो ऑर्गेनिक प्रोड्यूस है उसकी रिचिबिलिटी बढ़ती है इम्प्रूव फार्मर इनकम थ्रू क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट्स जनरेशन ऑफ रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज मेकिंग अ डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लांट स्पीसीज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एकोलॉजिकल बैलेंस एज एंड डेवलपिंग ऑफ रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क फॉर वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक इनपुट्स एंड प्रोड्यूस परंपरागत कृषि विकास योजना इज अगेन समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेंट्रल स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम है इनिशियली लॉन्च की गई थी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन में सब्सिक्वेंटली इट हैज बिन रिवाइज फॉर थ्री ईयर एंड इट इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ क्वेश्चन विद अ क्लस्टर साइज ऑफ थाउजेंड हेक्टेयर इन द प्लेन एंड फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हेक्टेयर इन हिली एरियाज फॉर बेटर फेसिलिटेशन ऑफ मार्गेनिक ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक प्रोडक्ट्स इसके तीन इंपॉर्टेंट कंपोनेंट चार इंपॉर्टेंट स्कीम्स हैं दो की फोकस करते हैं द ब्रॉड कंपोनेंट्स इंक्लूड इंप्लीमेंटेशंस एंड होल्डिंग ऑफ द कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग सर्टिफिकेशन पार्टिसिपेटरी गारंटी सिस्टम सर्टिफिकेशंस इंसेंटिव टू फार्मर वैल्यू एडिशन मार्केटिंग एंड पब्लिसिटी द थर्ड इज भारतीय प्राकृतिक कृषि पद्धति दैट इज बी सो दिस इज अ नेचुरल फार्मिंग दैट इज डिजाइन टू इनहेंस द फार्मर पॉसिबिलिटी एक्सेस टू क्वालिटी फूड रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ सॉइल फर्टिलिटी और फार्म लैंड की में खास करके अगर इको सिस्टम की बात करें या फिर इम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज की बात करें वो किस तरह से बढ़ाई जा सकती है उस पर ध्यान दी गई दिस मिशन इज अंडर द पी के वी वाई दैट फॉल्स अंडर द अम्ब्रेला ऑफ नेशनल मिशन ऑन सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर द प्रम्स एग्जामिनेशन दैट फोकस इज अपॉन नॉन बायो रिसाइकलिंग एंड मेजर स्ट्रेस ऑन द बायोमासिस लाइक इन द यूज ऑफ Cow dung urine formulations, exclusion of synthetic chemical input, and either directly or indirectly. The other is Mission Organic Value Chain Development in the North Eastern Region. Total outlay of four hundred crore is kept. This is again a center sector scheme. Under the scheme, one third sixty nine farmer produce companies has been registered. And North Eastern states may organic farming to promote. For this, it is a good scheme. integrated nutrition management and organic farming it's uh, organic farming assistant provided for mechanical mechanizations promotions of bio fertilizer testing laboratories and support research in establishing and teaching institutions and the last is day uh, that is a uh, day nrlm and organic farming this is something organic farming is being implemented with the uh, women farmers with the self help group under the day nrlm it is strengthen the livelihood of the women and under the value chain development the promotions of producer group under the produced entrepreneurial has been initiated so these schemes has been game changer to promote the organic farming in india and specifically agar schemes ki baat kare generally government ne kai scheme ko extend kiya hai and even those not extended will be extended because these are potentially contributing to the farmers and helping them to get right price and doubling the farm income so this was all about for the kurukshetra for this month we have lot more other initiatives for you in the youtube that is daily news and editorial analysis which i covered the hindu and indian express it will give you a comprehensive analysis about the newspaper on daily basis we have is gazette magazine jo ki hamara website se download kar sakte hain fcs there pib 
MPR, just of Yojana and Kurukshetra, Yojana video has already been uploaded. Do check it out. Comprehensively watching all this initiative will definitely help you to sail through the journey of civil services. If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.